So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys every secret tip and trick that you can use when interacting with advanced voice mode. Advanced voice mode is not the same as ChatGPT voice mode. This is the mode that has a bunch of different secret features that allows you to speak in real time on the phone with ChatGPT as you would a normal person. Let's take a look at some of the key things that you need to do in order to make sure that you're going to have a great conversation and that you can take advantage of every secret tip and trick. The first secret tip slash trick that's going to be pretty basic, but it's one that not enough people do is to just use headphones. For clearer audio and for fewer interruptions, especially in noisy environments, try to get yourself some headphones that aren't exactly noise cancelling, but just any old headphones will do. Oftentimes, you might experience disruptions where you might not hear ChatGPT due to your surrounding environments. I've found that once I have headphones on, I can interact in a much more natural way and it allows the conversation to flow a lot better. Unless, of course, you want others to hear your conversation, just make sure you're using headphones for a much better experience. Now, I'm going to go on to tip number two. Once you're on the phone with ChatGPT, you're going to want to enable this secret setting. Basically, you're going to want to click this setting right here and you're going to want to able voice isolation. So just go down to your scroll center, then of course click this button right here, and you'll see that you can click isolate voice. The reason you want to do this beforehand is because it's going to make your voice sound a lot clearer to ChatGPT. That way, there aren't any disruptions between your conversations. It's something that I found has made every conversation have more clarity and the instructions that I send to ChatGPT are more clear and concise. The next tip that I want to get into, guys, before we dive into real tips and tricks, is that you make sure that you monitor your usage limits. Advanced voice mode has daily limits for Plus and Team users. Keep an eye on the timer to manage your sessions effectively. One of the things that you might unfortunately do is get carried away with your sessions. Talking to ChatGPT, can be quite fun, but sometimes you might not realize that this has a 45 minute timer. I do know that some accounts are limited to half an hour, but the maximum that I have seen recently has been 45 minutes. So once it starts to get to around the 40 minute mark, remember that your conversation might be capped. This is the daily rate limit and it might increase in the future, but for now, that is the rate limit at its current rate. And for those of you that are in the EU that currently don't have access to advanced voice mode just yet, be sure to check a link in the description where I title exactly how you can access advanced voice mode for those of you who are in other regions where this isn't out just yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can take advantage of advanced voice mode. One of the things that I really like about advanced voice mode is that with advanced voice mode, what you can do is you can ask it to change its accent and ask it to change its voice dynamically. I know this isn't really a tip or trick, but it's something that you can use to do to connect with different people from different cultures. For example, with advanced voice mode, I'm now going to ask it to speak in a Scottish accent. Hey, advanced voice mode, how you doing? Advanced voice mode, how you doing? Ready to dive into some top-notch Scottish banter? Wow, you've already managed to do the Scottish accent. Can you do a rather posh accent? Oh, indubitably. Here we are in the realm of posh accents. How might I be of service to you today? So you can see right there that this is something that is remarkable at changing accents on the fly. If there's anything that you can think of, this thing is going to be able to do it rather effectively. Now, it doesn't just have the ability to change dialects based on certain regions and certain accents. It can do that for cross countries as well. So for example, I could also say, Hey ChatGPT, can you also do an Indian accent? Yes, of course. Here we are with an Indian accent. How can I assist you today? The, the reason you might actually want to have an Indian accent, or you might want to have certain accents, this is because certain people are from different regions, and this is going to allow the advanced voice mode to sound a lot more pleasable to them. Maybe your mother is Indian, she might be from a foreign country, she might be from a certain region. And if you can get advanced voice mode to actually replicate this style slash accent of where that person is from, if you're showing them advanced voice mode, this is going to result in a much more pleasant interaction. It's something that isn't natively baked in, meaning that you can't select this as an option, but you can actually ask advanced voice mode to do this for you. And this is something that doesn't burn any additional credits. So it's something that works really, really well. Another way that you can actually use 
advanced voice mode to engage in really engaging conversations is to engage in listening exercising is to engage in listening exercises using complex and fast paced sentences to better develop your listening comprehension, especially for native level speech. Let me show you guys the prompt. Hey, ChatGPT, I'd like to work on my listening skills. Can you read out a short paragraph containing some challenging words at a natural quick pace, like how a native English speaker would talk? I'll listen closely and I'll try to jot down what I hear. Extraordinary phenomenon of bioluminescence is prevalent among various marine species, manifesting as an ethereal glow in the depths of the ocean. This biological light resulting from a chemical reaction within the organisms serves various purposes from predation to communication. Okay, you can stop doing the Indian accent and go back to the default accent. All right, switching back to my default accent. How did you find that exercise? That was amazing. Was able to catch most of it? I think I, I think I did catch most of it, but this is just a demo for a video. So I'm not going to repeat back everything you've said. Challenging paragraphs or anything else for the video, just let me know. So another thing that ChatGPT advanced voice mode can do, which is remarkably effective, is that it can slow down or speed up its words. This is useful for a variety of different scenarios. And most people don't realize that you can actually use this effectively. There are two main applications for this. One of them is for accessibility. If you slow down the speech, you can make content more accessible to people with hearing impairments or those learning the language. The other application is for practicing listening skills in real world situations where speakers might talk quickly or use complex vocabulary. And that was quite funny because I didn't prompt ChatGP to do that, but that was exactly what I was going to say. ChatGPT can speak quickly, allowing you to consume information really fast. Here, I'm going to say, Hey, ChatGPT, can you quickly explain to me why a recursive self-improvement is really dangerous? Try to speak as quick as possible and make it as concise as possible. I don't have much time. Recursive self-improvement in AI refers to an AI system's ability to iteratively enhance its own algorithms and capabilities without human intervention. This is dangerous because each cycle could lead to exponential growth in intelligence, but potentially surpassing human control and understanding. This could result in unintended behaviors, misaligned goals, and ultimately a threat to human safety if the AI's objectives conflict with ours. So with that, you can see that the AI learns to speak even faster based on your output. Now, you might need the AI to speak a little bit slower. For example, let's say you're learning a language. You can ask advanced chat GPT to speak a little bit slower, and that way it will give you time to understand exactly what's going on in the language. For example, I could say, hey, ChatGPT, I'm trying to brush up on my Spanish. Could you give me a few Spanish words and their translations, but don't speak too quickly as I really want to understand exactly what's being said. Let's have a small back and forth and you start and tell me what to do. Which means house. Your turn. Casa. Perfect. Next, we have comida, which means food. Go ahead and repeat that. Could you say that one again? This time a little bit more slowly. I didn't catch that. Of course. Comida. It means food. Give it another try. Comida. Great job. Now let's try feliz, which means happy. Give it a go. So you can see right there that changing the dynamic speed of advanced voice mode is something that is remarkably helpful considering how effective it is at speaking dynamically. Now, these are some of the tips and tricks that can actually help you to engage in consistent learning and advancing yourself as an individual in the AI age. Another way that I think that advanced voice mode is certainly more useful than people understand is simulating hard conversations. One of the things about being a individual in today's society is that you will have to have pretty difficult conversations on a frequent basis if you're trying to increase your value as an individual. One of the conversations that you might have to have is a sales call. You might have to convince someone to do something. And this is where you can use advanced voice mode to pretend to be someone and then you can try and convince them. So hey, ChatGPT, I want to role play with you being someone skeptical of buying my, uh, let's say, you want to be skeptical of buying my solar panels, okay? And I've just knocked on your door and I'm gonna be the salesman 
and you're going to be the customer who's a little bit skeptical, but you're somewhat intrigued. All right, I'll be the skeptical customer. Go ahead and start your pitch. Hey there, I noticed that you uh, don't have any solar panels on your roof. Uh, yes, I've thought about it, but I'm not quite convinced yet. Aren't they quite expensive to install? No, actually, you'd actually be quite surprised by how cheap they are actually to, you know, install. Um, would you like me to run through a, a, a few, you know, areas in terms of how much you're willing to spend? And then we can come together in terms of the kind of pricing that you'd like to, you know, agree on because everyone has a budget and I'm sure we can accommodate to your needs. Well, I am curious about the costs, but I'm also concerned about the maintenance. Wouldn't they be a hassle to upkeep? Uh, that's actually a common misconception. Solar panels usually routinely clean themselves and if they do get messy, we have a 24-7 team that is here to clean them free of charge. That sounds convincing, but what about the weather? I mean, living here in London, we don't exactly get a lot of sun. Will they still be effective? The, the thing is that solar panels don't actually need constant sunlight. As long as it is daytime, they're going to be able to get some of the sun rays that come through, and they'll still be remarkably effective. What would it take for me to see a return on investment? Okay, so there you can see that you can demo certain conversations that you might have to have. I did a small sales pitch just because it's something that's remarkably easy to set up, but you could also do things like preparing for a job interview. You could do things like talking to someone that you think is maybe attractive. Maybe you have trouble talking to the opposite gender or someone that you're quite interested in and you want to practice your linguistic skills. This is something that allows you to have a back and forth and allows you to be remarkably more effective for improving your confidence in certain areas. So this is something that works remarkably well having those immediate conversations. Now, a last tip that I'm gonna give you is that one of the things that you want to do, and I might not demonstrate this, but this is just how it works. I'm not sure why this works, but this is how it works, is that you want to feed your context through speech and not through text. For some reason, the advanced voice mode struggles with pasted text but you can still provide context by speaking it aloud or using a speech to text software to read it to the AI. This way, the AI retains the information and engages more deeply. For example, you could say, hey, ChatGPT, I'm going to read some notes aloud for context. Afterwards, let's dive into a detailed discussion based on them. Now, with that, you just want to have your text to speech model. You could have it on your computer, or on another device and then have it play it to ChatGPT. And then of course, you could then talk about that information. For whatever reason, it doesn't reason well over the initially pasted text. So if you want to get that working well, that is what you'd have to do. If you guys did enjoy this video, hopefully this shows you all of the secret tips and tricks that you can use with this software. I think there are a billion different use cases. I'm not gonna dive into through all of them, but I wanted to show you the actual tricks that you can use if you want to gain an advantage with this software. With that being said, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.